everybody. Welcome to the Actors Academy. Thank you for tuning in today. So, Christmas is coming up. The holiday season is here. We are going to be putting up the Christmas tree, all the lights, and everything. Christmas is one of my favorite holidays. I look forward to Christmas every single year. There's so many things about it that I like. I like the music. I like the lights that get put up. I like the trees. I like getting to go and sit down and watch movies and hot chocolate and all of it. I love Christmas so much and I'm looking very forward to it this year. So what I wanted to do for you guys is to give you guys a list of the top 25 movies that I watch for Christmas or as you guys know the 25 days of Christmas starting on December 1st you guys watch a movie every single day a Christmas movie leading up all the way to Christmas Day. Now one of the things I hate is having that goal in mind but then not knowing what to watch. So what I wanted to do to help you guys out is to tell you guys what is my 25 days of movies Christmas list. Now with this list it's not going to be at all in any specific order. You guys can use whatever order you want but I do want to give you guys the list of the movies that I'm going to be watching this holiday season. And to help me out through this process we're going to have little Frosty here in the background for us. Also something that I want you guys to go and do is after you guys have gone through and heard everything within this list, I want you guys to write down in the comment section below what is your favorite Christmas movie? And also, what is your favorite thing that you love to do during the Christmas time? What is your absolute favorite thing? I'll tell you guys for me, I love making gingerbread houses. I love it. I love making big gingerbread houses. I like making small gingerbread houses. I'm happy as long as my gingerbread house doesn't fall down. And trust me, I've gone through a few times before where I'll go and build this great big gingerbread house and I'm so proud and I go and pull up my camera. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go and take a picture of this. And then two seconds later, for the whole thing collapses and then I have to go through the whole process of making it again, which I'm happy to do sometimes. But this is one of the things that I love doing during the Christmas time is going and making gingerbread houses. So for you guys, I want you guys to also leave down in the comment section below, what is your favorite thing to do during Christmas? What do you look forward to? What do you really enjoy? So movie one that we have is called The Polar Express. The Polar Express is a very cute movie to watch. Um, it's an animated movie, and the great thing about it is, is that we got Santa Claus, we got a Christmas train, we got snow, we got a kid who doesn't know if he believes in Santa, what he thinks about Christmas, and we go through this whole storytelling process. Um, and also what's very cool is that Tom Hanks will voice one of the characters within this movie, and you guys will probably be able to recognize his voice when you go through and listen to it. But this is a great movie to watch, and it's one of the ones that I put on my Christmas list. Movie number two is going to be Prancer from 1989. Now, this movie is very interesting. Not a lot of people actually know about this Christmas movie. But now, if you're looking for something that's heartfelt, that has passion, that has joy, that has Prancer in it, then this is a movie for you. It's about this little girl who goes and takes care of this reindeer. She tries to go and help get this reindeer to go back to Santa. Again, it's from 1989, and not a lot of people know about this movie. So if you haven't seen this movie before, it'll be a real big treat for you, because now you get to watch a Christmas movie that you've never seen in your entire life. But it's very cute, and it's a good movie. Movie number three is going to be Jack Frost. Now, Jack Frost is one of those movies that when I saw it for the first time, I thought it was so, so, so cool because of how snow and how it works and it builds around this man who's going to be played by Michael Keaton and Michael Keaton becomes the snowman. And I always used to think, well, wouldn't it be cool if you could actually go and become a snowman? And I had this whole thing. But I remember when I watched this movie um, for the first time, it was a very cute movie. Um, and it's good. And Michael Keaton's in it. And it's especially good during this holiday season. Movie number four is a classic movie. It's called How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Everybody has seen this movie. This is on everybody's list to go and watch for a Christmas movie. This is one of my favorite movies. Jim Carrey does an amazing job at playing the Grinch. This is my favorite How the Grinch Stole Christmas movie. It's a classic. I grew up watching this movie. Um, Jim Carrey, if you watch some of his audition tapes for him when he was going and trying to be um, the Grinch and get this part, it's amazing, phenomenal. So it has to be on this Christmas list without a doubt. Movie number five and six is going to be called Snow. The first movie is called Snow, and then the second movie is called Snow 2, Brain Freeze. It's about Santa. We got Santa Claus in here. We got reindeer, reindeer escaping, trying to go and get the reindeer, bring them back. And there's also love within this movie. It's great. So they made two of them, so I made sure to put it on the list here. Now, movie seven that we have on this list is A Christmas Carol. A Christmas Carol is one of the most famous stories that has been told over and over and over again and the version that I'm picking is the one from 1984. This is the story about Scrooge and he's visited by three ghosts and it is one of the most Christmas movies that you will find. 
Movie number eight is A Christmas Kiss. This one is another, it's a very good movie. If you're someone who um, likes romance and you like to see how people get together and you like Christmas and you want to put them all and mesh it all together, um, A Christmas Kiss is the perfect movie for all of you. This now leads me into the movie called 12 Dates of Christmas. And it's about this girl who relives the same day over and over and over and over and over uh, during this holiday season. And it's also about how she goes and finds herself and she also goes and finds love. And if you guys are fans, of that show Saved by the Bell, well, the guy who plays Zack in that show is also within this movie. Number 10 is Miracle on 34th Street, another amazing classic movie. It was made in 1994. Everybody loves this movie. It's great. It has Santa in it. Um, it's also about saving Santa and doing right by Santa. And it's about this girl who's not sure if she believes in Santa or if she should believe in Santa. And then towards the end, we find out maybe she does believe in Santa a little bit. Movie number 11 is Jingle All the Way. And this one is with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the person who goes and says, I'll be back, the Terminator. Not a lot of people know that he was actually in a Christmas movie, and a very good Christmas movie at that. Um, he plays a dad who goes and tries to basically get his son the best Christmas present that he can, and his son wants this toy action figure. Now you're going to go through his journey at trying to go and get this toy, and it's a huge journey for him. It's a great holiday fun movie. It shows the love that he has for his son. It's during Christmas time. It's a great movie for all of you to watch. Again, not a lot of people know that Arnold Schwarzenegger did this movie, so it's even that much more incentive for you guys to go and watch it and have it be permanently on your list. So movie number 12 is called snow globe so during this holiday season we got to have a little bit of magic going on and within this movie you're going to find that there is magic involved where this girl magically gets to go into the snow globe and there's this whole other world that she gets to live and she's in there and she loves it um, and it's a great movie that you guys have to watch on your holiday season movie number 13 is christmas with the cranks and this is a tim allen movie actually and it's another one of his christmas movies that he's actually done it's very funny it's good it's a whole family thing it goes through this process of where him and his wife basically don't want to go and celebrate Christmas. They want to go and take a vacation. They want to go on a cruise. But their whole neighborhood loves Christmas. So there's this whole journey that they go through where basically the neighborhood tries to convince them to go and celebrate Christmas. And they're going, no, we're going to go on a cruise. We're going to go and enjoy ourselves. And they're going on this cruise because their daughter has gone away to college and then she's not home. So they have no need to go and celebrate Christmas. But little did they know that the daughter's going to decide to come back and celebrate Christmas. Now all of a sudden they're gonna scramble and try and get all their holiday joy and Christmas all up and running again. So it's a very fun movie to watch. It's one of those other Tim Allen movies that he did um, for Christmas. Number 14 and 15 are gonna be the Christmas Chronicles. Christmas Chronicles 1 and Christmas Chronicles 2. These are both Netflix original movies. I saw the first one last year. It was great. I had a blast watching it. I was hesitant at first because not always uh, new Christmas movies coming out are always gonna be great. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. And I was hoping that it would be. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised that it was a very, very, very good Christmas movie. Um, and I suggest that you guys go and watch it. Now, I will admit, I have not yet seen the second one, but I'm sure that it's going to be very good. The second one just came out, so I'm going to be watching it very, very, very soon. Um, but I'm sure it's going to be good. The first one was amazing. I loved it. If you guys haven't seen it, you guys got to get caught up on it and watch that movie. Now, taking up our number 16 slot, our number 17 slot, and our number 18 slot is A Christmas Prince. These are also more Netflix created Christmas movies. These ones are nice. They're fun to watch. You find how love is found between these two characters and then the process that they go through in movie two and then in movie three. And you're basically going on this whole journey. Um, and it was great because Netflix basically let out one of these a year. So there was one year where they let out the first movie, then the next year it was the second one, and then I think it was last year that they let out the third one. But it was great. It's great to watch. And you guys can go on now and watch all of them all in a row very easily. The next movie is A Princess Switch with Vanessa Hudgens. She does a fantastic job in this movie. She has to go and have an accent for one character, and then she gets to go and play herself. It's basically how um, there's this girl who's a normal girl, and then there's another girl who's a princess, and they're going to go and swap lives because they're identical and Vanessa Hudgens plays both of these characters so it's a great acting feat um, for her or any actor to go and do but it's also just a very fun Christmas movie to go and also watch at the same time. Movie number 20 is Claws. This is another Netflix created movie. This is an animated movie. Um, this one is a very fun movie. It was very unexpected when I watched it. I had no idea really what it was going to be about or how I was going to enjoy it or if I was going to love it or if I was going to hate it. Um, what was going to happen with it. This is a true treat this movie. Um, it's very fun to watch. I enjoyed it a lot um, and it's going to be on my list this year. 
All right, now we are in the home stretch. These movies are the classic movies that everyone has heard about, everyone has hopefully seen before, and if you haven't, then you gotta go and watch it, and you have to make sure that these movies are on your Christmas list. So, the next one is gonna be, number 21 is A Christmas Story. This movie is a classic movie. It's great, it's fun, it's exciting. You see this kid, he wants this amazing present that he's always asking for, and you see him go and talk to Santa, and it's a very, very, very cool movie to watch. Next we have, taking up spot number 22, 23, and 24 are the Santa Claus movies. Santa Claus 1, 2, and 3 with Tim Allen. Tim Allen by far plays one of my favorite Santa Clauses that I have ever seen. He does a phenomenal job with these movies. Um, he's fun, uh, he's exciting, and they're just a joy to watch. It has to be on anybody's Christmas list. And then the last one on this list is going to be Elf. Very funny movie. I have seen Elf, I can't tell you how many times. I've seen it at my own house so many times. I've gone to friend's house before and we're gonna all watch a Christmas movie and we put on Elf. I have seen Elf so many times that it's one of my favorite Christmas movies. And I'll tell you this, Elf might be the movie that I watch on Christmas day. It just might be, I'll have to see. I'm not sure yet. I'm still deciding what I'm gonna watch on the exact Christmas day, um, but I think it's gonna go and be Elf. I think he's taking the cake. So there you have it. This is my top 25 Christmas movie list. These are going to be the movies that I'm going to be watching all throughout December leading up all the way to Christmas. Again, I love Christmas. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite time of the year. And I used to go through the process before of having to think going, oh my gosh, when am I going to watch every single day for Christmas? I'd have five Christmas movies that I could think of at the top of my head. Um, but then I had to come up with 20 more. And now you guys have the whole list of everything I'm going to be watching this season. So again, I'm very excited for Christmas. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful holiday yourself. Also, don't forget to leave down in the comment section below which is your favorite Christmas movie along with what is your favorite thing to do during the Christmas season. So I hope you guys like this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. If it helped you with your Christmas list, let me know. Also, I'll be leaving the 10-hour acting masterclass down in the description below and also in the comment section if you guys are interested in that. Alrighty, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye guys.